well, well. Welcome to the Architects of Fate streaming extravaganza. That's right. You found the self-proclaimed original Twitch TTRPG stream that lets you shake up our world. Now pay attention because this is how it works. If you'd like to add some loops to this roller coaster ride of the show, you're gonna need fake chips. Now these magical loyalty points can be earned just by watching, following, posting, subscribing, or just engaging with us in the chat. It's like free money, Pete. With your fate chips, you can use your powers as an architect to heal your favorite players, summon items that will make their adventure a lot easier, or a lot harder. You can even make players say or sing outrageously silly things. Think of those possibilities. But, but wait, wait, wait. There is more. You can also toss our unsuspecting heroes into random encounters that will leave them sweating, strategizing, and questioning their life choices. All it takes is a quick redeem command in the chat. You choose the item or action and the player you want to mess with, and we'll take it from there. So sit back, relax, and prepare yourselves for a mind-blowing spectacle of storytelling and mayhem. We've got adventure. We've got drama and more surprises than a clown car at a kid's birthday party. So let's go! Hey everybody, all you architects of fate, I want to say welcome to Star Trek Adventures Back in Business. Tonight we are going to enjoy the world of Star Trek, but from a point of view of the Ferengi. Now, Ferengi, call them criminals, call them crude, call them greedy but never underestimate them. The galaxy is putting itself back together after the horrors of the Millennium War. Old empires are falling and new ones are rising. And the once stable galaxy is now facing an uncertain future. The thousand year old Ferengi Alliance is also undergoing these seismic shifts with the ascension of Grand Negus Rob. The old ways of rampant greed and misogyny are giving, new way, giving way to new ways of shared ambition and opening up new markets and quite possibly fair trade. But that, that's still that's still on the line. Uh, these changes have impacted all Ferengi, rich and poor alike. Uh, but let's look in on a merry little band of profiteers and their acquaintances as we plunge back into Star Trek. Back in business. Um, and Joining me tonight, well, soon to join me, uh, Chelapuck is on his way. He will be playing um, the characters. Let me see if I can get myself to Hatfield and Jones. I've lost the map already. There we go. Uh, in this game, uh, everyone's going to be playing multiple people except for Dave because Dave is an artist. <laughs> so, um, Telepuck will be playing uh, Goreth, our engineer, and Lara, uh, Lara is one of his many wives, one of his three wives, and uh, she's a doctor. Uh, Dave, you want to tell us a little bit about uh, who and what you are while we can do that? Well, I'm Captain Cash, 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 Cash I'm a, I'm a, a Ferengi businessman business who... Man. who uh, uh, worked, worked my, my tail, off tail off to bring, bring the uh, import, uh, import export, export of, of uh, fine, uh, fine bugs, bugs to my home planet, planet, of, planet of, of the, 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 dual, the dual whole planets of Ferengi of Ferengadar. But but uh, as uh, I was as I was about to close the, close deal, the deal, my sister, my sister wormed her way in there, kicked, in there. Me kicked me out. So so I had to take, had to take a, a, a uh, loan out loan out to get this beautiful spaceship we're currently on, which is. Those, Those uh, chicken, uh, chickens, as they, as they say, are coming, say are coming home, home to roost. So we are, so we are uh, currently, currently on, the fire. on the fire. We got a bit of an, got a bit of an echo. This is GM and GM from, from, from me. I'm echoing. I'm echoing. I'm echoing. Echo, 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 echo. echo, 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 echo. Hey, uh, Kim, would you talk so we can see if it's another echo? Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll talk. I will talk. Tell a Tell story, a story of Ray by Ray by Ryan Ryan Syndicate, how he's how hiding, hiding from them from them. 
with our mirror man. We've got to handle it as well. That means I've leveled something up, but that's fine. Uh, okay. Yeah, so all right. Hey, Cam, why don't you talk again? All right. All right. Well, so Greybach and his good friend Noit have a. Is everybody hearable now? He's not here. Okay, you hear me on the podcast, and the rest of you we don't hear? Well, that's annoying. Okay. Okay, well, I'm going to turn you back. Check, check, check. Yeah, coming through loud and clear. No echo. Okay, well, I'm, I'm going to vote that it's somebody else's problem. Hey, uh, uh, Cam, would you talk as well? I have a feeling that you're running through the same channel. Yeah, I am talking as so, well. Yep, oh, it's... That was it. I, I had you each have a, Is that me? your own audio, your own audio mm -hmm. track. So that's ah. the problem. Hey, but we do have. Um, no, so everyone's sounding good to me right now. We're all, we're all, we're all Excellent. That's how we're going to do this. All right. Uh, what I'm going to do is where we left the, the, the married group is on a deck of the Ferengi, uh, Ferengi freighter. Um, on the group, because we never did a, did a name for this. We, we just called it the Freighter. Uh, <laughs> I, think, yeah. I don't know if we took a poll or not. Um, <clears throat> anyway, the, there is... The, 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 hey, 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 that was an echo. That was an echo. Sorry, that was me. Sorry, sorry. I apologize. Uh, all right. Yeah, and all you right. guys will hop around <sighs> a little bit because, um, yeah, Skype has, Skype has behavioral... Skype has a little uh, when you guys is, um, uh, when everybody comes in and come, joins the stream, your screen's all resized and Skype's part of the Skype frame. So that's kind of fun. Yeah. Uh, and I've, I've read up on how to fix that, but you know what? If, if I really cared, I would. <laughs> um, but I, if I didn't, I think it's just being paranoid. Anyway. Sorry, sorry, I'm late, guys. guys. No worries. No worries. Uh, we've been all getting cold weather. No, I'm, 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 I'm fine. fine. My son, my son decided, decided to use my, my Chromebook, Chromebook while his computer, computer was in the shop and didn't do it away. away so. So. Oh, okay. So you were chasing <laughs> around for it? Yeah. yeah. Tip, tip, typical, typical so, you know. You know. So. <laughs> 20 year old 20 -year children not uh, being responsible. Sure, sure. Uh, uh, Gorth, Gorth is, is um, he's, he's uh, he went, he went to Starfleet. Starfleet. He's, he's a, a Danubian, Danubian. and, and um, he ended up ended inventing, up inventing um, a, a musical, musical translator, translator, which allows, which allows music, music to be translated, translated into different, different languages, languages and different, different cultures. cultures. And, and his, his big, big idea, idea was, was to have, have a giant, giant music musical festival. festival. Um, and, and someone, someone had cracked, cracked into, into the translator, the translator and, made and made it so, so that all the music, all music that people heard, heard was, was now, now um, completely, completely inferior, inferior to, to all, cultures all cultures at all at the same, same time. time. And, and they chased, they chased him, him out, out with, with pitch pitch and, and torches. torches. And he's, and he's, on, he's the on the run. <laughs> and and uh, Lyra uh, is, is his, uh, one, uh, one of his wives, and she is also... Uh, they, uh, are they are both physicians, physicians and, and, um, yeah, and yeah, they're, and they're, trying, they're to trying to make their way, their way on this, this, this crazy, crazy uh, uh, Ferengi ship. ship. 
to try to and restart, restart their, their lives. lives. Uh, and if I remember right, you ran into some Cardassians who were interested in this advice, but wouldn't ask for it openly and would only speak in very couch language. An inference and metaphor, if I recall. Because everyone was a bit so Right? That was like a few weeks ago. Uh, uh. You're, you're, you're breaking, breaking up, up a little bit. bit. Uh, Gorath has the echo now. Well, yeah, of course Gorath has the echo. Of course, of course I do. But he doesn't anymore. I do. I do. <laughs> I do. I do. I do. I do. Uh, <laughs> that. Yeah, once he joined, uh, I had to mute his, his audio stream because someone lied to me about how audio works in OBS. Um, this, to quick sum up, uh, as I recall, um, on deck A, thanks to a clever redeem for weather, um, the fire suppression system went off on A deck and it's filling the air with a uh, nice oxygen absorbing uh, ga uh, pranitrium gas. Uh, Noit and Cash Dash are there. Noit does not have an oxygen mask. Um, no, I don't I do know not. if Cash Dash is sharing his at all. <laughs> Uh, and they just, I think they just opened the door, or the door is getting opened, because I don't think you guys made it past the door yet. No, I, I left, when I left, I was still trying to get through. That was, that's what I, but I left early last time. Oh, you were still there. We stopped, we stopped using you at that point. <clears throat> um, you assume Grell is unconscious on the floor, at best unconscious on the floor, because you can't tell the difference between a stun and kill setting on a disruptor uh by by sound but the, the audio quality was low my mic is way down relative to others yeah yeah give me a sec thanks guys why don't you tell me i'm like inaudible let me see where's my where's my thing because i switched my audio stuff Input. I think my volume was just way up because I couldn't tell. Okay. Well, that's true. Uh, let's go with the Okay. I should be I should be louder now. Uh, hopefully GM and the yeah. computer can hear me. I've got a mic that's a foot from my face. All right. Um, on meanwhile, on uh, B deck of the freighter, Direct Fex is get has just got his shoulder fixed by uh, Lyra. And I do not know, um, Gorath, I don't know where you are. I don't remember. Clapton got away. I'm just going back through last week's stuff. Okay, Gorath, you were on C deck hey, in main engineering. Okay. And you were attempting to do something kind of important, if I recall. You were trying to get uh, the fire suppression, the doors open. Right? <clears throat> okay. Because you look frozen. I believe that's what is he doing. frozen? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He seems to be frozen. Hey, Paul. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Oh, just when we just just when we got us in, it's it's <clears throat> it's it's shoving us back out. I think that that Chromebook may have bigger problems. And uh, speaking of which, what malware porn audio is um, coming up? Oh God, that's Still right. Got banner ads coming up. <laughs> and the hamster dance. Uh, there's fun. just so many pop-ups on the on the command deck. I like the idea that they're all holographic too, so that they're just walking mm -hmm. in front of your face and you have to walk through them. Get out of my face. I'm busy. I'll the be back. The most annoying thing about Picard was that they did that. They did the pop up holo stuff that, that seemed to understand who was addicted to drugs and illicit activities on the bridge. Mm. It just it just popped up popped up ads to each one of them. And it's like, why would you do this? It's like, luckily nobody decided, hey, there's there's some really, you know, really untoward stuff going on that you're into. 
Uh, let me see. Okay. Well, let's... Um... All right, so Gorath is out of, out of action for the moment. There is a uh, Dvorak in the Lyra. Uh, well, Dvorak, you've got your shoulder fixed. Uh, yeah, it feels better what do you already. What do you want to do uh, with this fixed shoulder? Well, I should probably get back up to the bridge and make sure that uh, things are in order. We don't want these Nausicans doing bad yeah, stuff. Yeah, there's still two out on the floor, and nobody's giving them oxygen. I don't think... I, I don't think you're giving them oxygen, so that's good. Yeah. I'm not going to share with Noid. I'm sure hell not going to share <laughs> oh, with us. I like that Noid has got to be turning an extra shade of blue-green at this point. Because <laughs> reasons. Um, there's there's a, a little flashing panel uh, on the wall that says, Isn't there a spare mask? Oxygen. You've got to have a spare mask somewhere. Yeah, I do. You just gotta, you just gotta swipe your, your card for it. <laughs> you got the flavored oxygen too, because you spent the extra strip. Oh yeah, <laughs> extra strip. I like that it gives you stale air if it's if it's not um, if it's not happening. Oh um, yeah. Let me see. Recycle at about eighty yeah, percent efficiency. Yeah. Um, also, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give everybody some. I'm not sending that through the good scrubbers. Yes, I'm gonna give everybody some biddies too, by the way, uh, for our, for our technical for our technical uh, things. Pine air, yes, or bubble gum. Oh God. Rios never bothered with the privacy settings. Oh, that's true. Oh, I'm seeing all the uh, yeah, all the GM the Great Barrier comments too. All right. Uh, so you're gonna, I'm just gonna have you come on back up because you're just kind of waiting until that door can get opened, right? Um, uh, Cash, or were you gonna try and do your own thing to the door? Uh, the, the, the end of the, yeah, end of the commands because it's got a big melted slab there, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna wait, yeah, I'm because I'm, I'm not gonna do much good. Uh, trying to pry it open myself. Yeah, because I think you 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 injured the two the two beefy guys. Uh, Fex, you're back up on the bridge or back up on the on the main deck. Uh, gas is still pouring out, so until Paul gets back, <laughs> it doesn't get solved. I like the <laughs> idea that this problem doesn't get solved until the player shows up. Yeah, and I'm willing to bet that the battery is knackered on that stupid thing, and he's looking for the freaking charging cord now. And his kid uh -huh. left it in the car <laughs> in sub-zero temperatures because that's what Michigan is right now. Timbuktu. Oh yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I I have my official Star Trek blanket that my wife made me. It's wow. Invisible. It's oh, <laughs> they're hovering a little show bit. Up on the pop it, they pop it, it shows out up, but they popping yeah, in but and it out. edited it. It actually it's like a little puppet yeah. show. That's it wild. Well, they're kind That's of, uh, they, their background is sort of <laughs> greenish yellow. Well, yeah, I just knew, I knew enough it, to get rid of it's that. A, the tracks. The, the, the uh, material is sort of from the animated series <laughs> kind of art style. So, but yeah. Yeah, the the, uh, the office is a little chilly here. So I have my Star Trek blanket on under the screen. So it's not visible, distracting. <laughs> I, I like the idea that you're sitting there in your wheelchair knitting. Yeah. Playing, playing, yeah. uh, playing some, playing some Star Trek streaming. Um, okay, so what? At least I don't just beep once for yes for no. and twice yeah. for no. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, it's it wasn't our proudest moment as a as a as an imaginative science fiction thing. Quick, we. No. All right, fine. I'm, we, I'm gonna give uh, Noit. You need to get us back up and on uh, track here. There's no need. Well, because Darvik can. Darvik has the only mask. He just left with it. Okay, if, you well, give me, if you give me a hit today, <laughs> I'll give you a slip next Thursday. Look, I'm, at, at this point, you won't ever hear me say this again, but we'll let the slip go as long as you can get this door open. I'll and try. I, I, I give Noy a, a good hit. I, I even I turn it up a little okay. bit. Right. So, I, I turn, so the I turn the valve back to a nice deep green. <laughs> okay. Turn the valve to one hundred <laughs> and twenty percent oxygen. 
Thank you. I Thank love you. the idea if it were if much it were better. Fatal to, uh, fatal to uh, Orion's. <laughs> <laughs> They're already surviving in a uh, super high oxygen environment for them. Um, okay, so um, you guys want to try it again? If I recall, this was uh, either engineering and engineering and fitness or security and fitness. So you can you could decide either one for either character. All right. So night security is a. Four, fitness is a twelve, so that's probably his better bet. Yeah, because yeah, engineering yeah, three. Yeah, this is that mukto yeah, uh, thing of, of strength. Yeah, uh, I'm engineering fitness, which is an eleven. Oh, actually, well, you're unless you're unless you're pulling on the door. Are you going to pull on the door with him? Uh, I, I was feeling like I, I might try to if, if he gets it open a little bit, I'll try to jam the barrel in and, okay. and pry. Okay. So I'll have that. I'll have that on standby. Um, yeah, if he's able to. Yep, yep. If the second All it right. opens, you'll you'll, you'll try and wedge something into it. All right, and an eleven and a nine, so two successes okay. unless uh, there were any well, negative need, mods. I think you need five to pull it apart. Um, ah, okay. So then fails oh, well actually there's two of you okay uh, uh, oh it's yeah, Dreybach, well, yeah, Dreybach up there? made it back up um okay hey Yo, let me DJ, help how just while i run it? out of air yep uh everybody had a pretty good holiday hope you're doing okay uh we're trying to pry open a door now and nobody brought any equipment because it's star trek uh, <laughs> all right Dre Dreyvok sadly rolled a 20, so he re-injured yeah, his shoulder. Yeah, I think shoulder. you, you re-injured the <laughs> other shoulder at this point. Damn! Now I'm really fired on that. I self-censored. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, you can only swear in the novelizations in the movies. <laughs> um, exactly. So I I fired yeah. it up. Well, that could, be a, that could be a good... You could... That could be a friend. Yeah, word. I think it could Who be. Knows? Well, I really, I, I really, you know, I really sold that short. Would be one of them. I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and roll. Um, roll four d twenty. There. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is this is gonna be my, uh, this is my pimp hand here. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna have the DM dice here. I'm going to roll for uh, Gorat, and I think he needed a 17 and ne needed two successes. So I'm going to throw the dice on that, the first two. He rolls a 20. Nice. Ooh. Nice. I'm going to look at his stupid character sheet because <laughs> I want to see if there's oh a way gosh. out of that. Um Normally uh, I don't I don't play another. He just floods the rest of the ship. With, with yeah, with the gas. That's like. <laughs> what the hell? Which could actually help us because all these other clowns coming in don't know that it's getting gas on yeah, the Yeah, I bridge. mean, he's only he's only skilled in, in, like, communications, EPS systems, musical, inter, musical <clears throat> tricorders. Yeah, he's got nothing. <laughs> he's got, he's he's got, like, let's find common ground. Yeah, there's nothing there to help him. Uh, <laughs> you're all boned. Okay, so he does do it. I think I agree with the, the group consensus of, uh, as we call it, cutting your own switch. Uh, you went out and got to cut your own switch. Uh, so now all the decks ha are starting to be flooded with this gas, uh, which means Lyra has an issue. Uh, we'll get we'll get her. She'll head somewhere. Um, and great. So, Cash Dash, you're rethinking your whole health policy. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna uh, take a uh, one more hit off the um, oxygen mask, uh, shove it into Noit's hands, and say, All right, I'm, I'm, I'm taking the long way around. And Noit's gonna <laughs> share it with Gray, Graybach as well. Uh, I am going to try to get into the vents. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Because you do have, um, uh, at your option, you just simply know ways around the ship. So rather than okay. the map, you just uh, say, I want to go from here to there through magical passages, and uh, we'll make it happen. 
I do have to I do have to swipe my card. I do have to swipe a few strips to get into the uh, little passageway that I have to okay. crawl through. Uh, so you plink those in. Uh, you told everybody mm -hmm. to look away. Look the other way. <laughs> Nobody look. Well, well actually, the gas Drape, is... Drape, I can annoy our busy swapping yeah, that, you're swapping the mask that he left them, mask. so they're not going to see anything <laughs> So anyway. you just vanished. Um, does, that, does that cost me momentum? Is no, that how no, that works? Just, or I give you threat? It. Oh, I can just uh, do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that uh, we're just going to come up with things for your ship. Uh, momentum is All kind right. of temporary. Um, we could maybe have you spend momentum to go from one place to another, but I... I think I'm just going to say that this is part of the way your ship works. Um, it's a All right. we'll call this. I think in D and D they call this a layer action. Yeah, this is one of your layer actions. Is that you know I know my ship. Um, secret secret passage. passages, at least one or two. Um, and then mm -hmm. what I wanted to do was Doric. Who has the who had the helmet? Was that you or Noi? Noi, Noi has the the evil yep. Cthulhu helmet. Not, he's not injured. Because I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking, I want to, I might want to do something with that. Um, <laughs> so, you know, I've got an idea. Um, okay, so uh, as Cash Dash goes through some passages to try and get to this, I'm gonna go back to the outside because it's all NPCs, <laughs> and I'm going to bring in uh, Clapham. You have, uh, you know, popped out, and you went, hello. Hey, it looks like um, uh, Paul's going to be Kill. trying to rejoin us, I hope, unless he just, it just unless it just gave up. Oh, looks like he's yes! starting. Yes! Hooray! He's tiny. I apologize. Oh, how are you doing? Is everything okay? <laughs> We were deciding it was your kid's problem, Paul. I think now it'll be good. We're going to be good, good now. now. Yeah, we're going to be good now. It's a good, good day. Nobody, ain't nobody going to die today? And he froze again. No, I don't think he so. He froze again. He started to freeze. <laughs> it's a little it's choppy. A little choppy. No, no. Yeah, you're a little <laughs> choppy. Subspace interference. No. Save the whale. <laughs> Save yourselves. Stay away from Earth. Uh, there he is. Okay. That's coming back. Looks like it might just catch up. Um, so what... Uh, yeah, I think that's what's happening. You doing okay? I'm not watching chat. Yep. Okay, chat. Hey, don't forget, everybody. Um, uh, if, you, if you don't know already, you can use the redeem command in chat to uh, throw us more curveballs than we ever have had because we're doing so well right now with tech. <laughs> um, let me see. Okay. So um, what I did, what I wanted to tell you was happening uh, at the moment is you are down on C deck and have, I, I'm, uh, can we all agree to let Gora throw his own stuff instead of the critical failure I gave him. <laughs> what? Well, you were, you were gonna fix some things because uh, we found out you and you fixed you, them. You fixed them. Uh, you're trying to open um, the door or to get rid of the gas, and I think the captain wanted the door to uh, the bridge opened up. All right, I'm on it. So you just need two successes, and it's going to be engineering and con. Or engineering right. and control, sorry. All right. Um, it's going to be a good day. So, 13s. Am I rolling over or under? Uh. Let me see. You're rolling. This is a roll low game. Okay. Well, I rolled a 20 and a 14. It was meant to be. It was the same critical failure. I love it. It was meant was to be. Was, was it the same roll? The architects of fate, Almost. of fate have declared that there will be a <laughs> yeah, critical <laughs> failure. This is, this, this, is, this, is, this is a faded architectural thing. 
because I rolled a 20 uh, and an 8. Oh, wow. So same answer. <laughs> oh, um, well. Also, we do have a redeem. Uh, why is the fishman redeeming advantage? Clap him, you jerk. I don't know. I don't Who's know that who guy? that guy is. Um, but uh, yeah, if you want to, we, we'll uh, we'll put that into the redeem pile. Those are my high rolling dice. Yeah, I forgot roll, my low rolling, rolling dice. Your roll, low rolling <laughs> dice. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna post. That's okay. We're, we're gonna yeah, live with that. We, 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 well, some of us may. I might um, not. You might not. No, uh, actually, the funniest part is that uh, we already decided what the glitch was. Okay. Um, because well, you'd just... already screwed that up. Um, yeah, uh, GM of the Great Barrier. Um, advantage or glitch, either way, you just you just toss it in. We're doing we're doing well already. All um, right. Let me see. So uh, we do have a redeem scroll through now. Uh, from whoever the fish man is. I have no idea. But um, the uh, what what has happened with your critical failure, uh, the uh, the gas from... Uh, well, and also, actually, your critical range now is 20, 18, 19, or 20 for uh, Gorath is a critical failure. Because uh, because the yeah. Amsterdam music is playing, um. and would you would you want to, um, uh, Dave? Would you would you be willing to uh, give us a quick serenade of the hamster dance and get us demonetized, please? Oh. Um, On repeat. repeat. Um, it is followed by. Can I run that through my uh, translator? <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's weird because oh, it never boy. translates Klingon swear words either. They come out as Klingon. Um, all right. So, and then there's the pop-up ads are still coming up. So, everybody, by the way, you do have a. Um, what's it called? Uh, you do have a. Everyone does have a, a twenty or a nineteen. Will now be a critical failure because of the distraction. Of the hamster dance, it's extended All because right. Gorath is musically inclined, and it is an affront to his very, <laughs> his affront to his very soul. If I recall that was a that was a cell phone you had last uh, la at the end of the last session. You said this is particularly painful uh -huh. for me, uh, which explains why you're just blowing yeah. the rolls. Um, you don't quite, yeah, yeah that, you don't get, you is. don't quite make the, uh, uh, you don't quite make the next roll. Um, which kind of sucks. Uh, and Cash Dash is, is moving through a tunnel. Dvorak and Anoint. Oh, I am you are holding, holding my breath. breath. Oh, because did you give him? Did, did you give I don't me, know if uh, that's a. Yeah, I'd be. He, he, he okay, let I drop the oxygen. Dance. Anoint Dreybach. Dreybach. Oh, okay. Sharing it. Sorry about that. Um, Lyra. No, no, sorry. I just wanted to see if that oh, was going to be a role. For right now, any... no. Well, well, it'll be it'll wind up being fitness and security right. soon right. enough. Um, I have yet in, until it becomes it'll probably only be rolled once when you mm -hmm. want to try and do something, because we're dealing with TV reality. You know, it's it's it isn't important mm -hmm. until it's it's important for the plot. Well, that's good to know because I will be trying to roll under an eight what, at that security? point. Yeah, <laughs> <You're human. laughs> my two weakest. You can do, do it. it. You could. I would be willing to give you. Hey, there's medicine. always a chance. That, that's why he hired yeah. us oh, strong I forgot. guys. Oh, God. Was, Wait, you. Those are the. Those. Those are yeah, literally. That is literally the lowest score you can get, and the, the lowest chance you can have in the game. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I'm assuming medicine yeah. is a. Fitness and reason are both sevens. Security and medicine yeah, are both yeah, ones. Because uh, my alternative so. was fitness and, and medicine. Uh. No. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna just have a ball. Speaking of medicine, Lyra. Um, you, uh, a, a, yes. a, um, anesthesia or a cryonetrium gas or whatever it is, that's a fire suppression. Um, you hear the Ferengi alert for, uh, fire suppression, insert one slip for oxygen mask. Um, you, however, do have, you do have your, you know, you have literally all the medical supplies on the ship, which are meager. Uh, they're on your person because you don't trust anybody. So yes. if you want to just decide that you have like um, 
Oh, what's it called? Triox or anything? Well, I, I would have a, a mask. Why would I? you say that? So well, I yeah, can but breathe? Did you give it a slip of latinum? No, I have my own personal mask, don't I? Um, <laughs> not that I know of. If you want to spend momentum, you can... Uh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll well, slip I mean, if you, uh, or you can you can do latinum, or you could actually say, I'm spending two momentum for the opportunity cost of... Yes, they're oxygen masks, but it's not standard. You, you don't just carry it around with you. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Okay, now okay. I'll slip in so some So you, you slip in a strip of latinum. Um, the mask comes out. Um, this is the stale aired mask. Oh, sure, yeah. of course. And I, I don't have any... Th and I don't <laughs> have any... The premium. To spend. Otherwise, I would, I would say it was one of the ones that have been raided by the uh, supply goblins from the last, the last crew. Right. They cleaned you out, man. They did. They did clean you out. Um, so, Larry, you've got the mask secured. I don't know if you have anything else uh, you need to do, or if you want to take a mask down uh, to Gorath. Um, can I prepare a, a hypo for anyone who might need it to recover from? Yeah, you have the you gas. Can, you can dial up Triox compound. Yeah. I think that's the the standard uh, medical treatment for this, um, and because you have a hypo, it, yeah. it in theory it's it's going to be one of the more you know cool advanced ones that um, you just tell it you know what you need. Because if I remember by this time, they all had right. kind of mini replicators in them, and could and could synthesize about like half a yeah. dozen common compounds um, as needed. If that does that agreeable. GM and the great yes, GM and the great barrier. Are we okay on that? He's he's my tech guru. Nope, he's still considering advantages or glitches. Okay, it's he's really stroking that chin so chin. hard. He's an ethereal <laughs> being. Mm. He's, he's, he's an ethereal being. Uh, so he is he is a non corporeal <laughs> entity who will be who will be fi uh, joining us Friday. Um, so what I'm yeah all right I think what we're gonna do is. Uh, abandon all the players, and we're going to come out to the hangar, <laughs> which nobody is. Yeah, nobody has eyes on the outside, Clip. which is hilarious. Uh, so yeah. we're just going to be basically setting a scene, and what I want to do is give you each uh, something to do, and I have. Sorry about that. I'm trying to locate my. Uh, who wants to be the leader of the Romulans and who wants to be the leader of the Cardassians because Dave has spoken for? I'll be a Romulan, I guess. I'll pick Romulans. <laughs> okay. Well, okay, I'll take yeah, the Cardassians. No, I like the idea that you'll both switch back. Okay. Like, oh, I'll take the Cardassians now. <laughs> um, Roll a day. Evens, I'll be the Cardassians. Odds, oh I'll no, be you guys, you guys go ahead as to who you want to do. <laughs> I'm gonna try and show you because I wound up shutting my, I, sh I wound up shutting my auxiliary uh, screen, and I'm gonna show you who the leader of the Romulans is. Oops, there. It's the leader of the Romulans is right here. It's Tavak. Kind of a sallow looking guy or girl, your choice. Because they're kind of androgynous. And <laughs> uh, and then there's the leader of the Cardassian group is called Elgo Thrain. And uh, whoever wants to take either one of them, that's totally fine. But what I'll what I'll have is that uh, DM Dave. World even, Cameron. Hi. Okay. I'll I'll take okay. Elgo then. Okay. So Elgo. Okay. Um, DM Dave. I need two things about Elgo Thrain. Two personality traits. <clears throat> he is uh, uptight. And uh, going through a divorce. <laughs> okay, I love that. Um, Cameron, 
You need to come up with two things yeah. about Tavac. Uh, two, two, two things for Tavac, Tavac? The, the leader of the Romulan contingent. The Romulans may or may not be <laughs> Obsidian Order. They're never going to say. Okay. They might just be traitor. They might just be a bunch of uh, mercenaries. Who knows? Right. Tavac is nervous and bombastic in his deliveries. <laughs> nervously, nervously bombastic. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my God, I'm nervous. <laughs> what are you doing? Everybody <laughs> Uh, Paul, I need you to come up with two additional facts about Clapham that we don't already know. Two additional. I don't facts. know how I don't know how well it's established Clapham really is, but uh, <laughs> um, mean guy. He's suffering from that. hemorrhoids. <laughs> Severe hemorrhoids, and. He is allergic to Cardassians. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, and you'll have to decide what an allergy is. It, it doesn't necessarily have to be the run-of-the-mill sniffling or anything. Um, and and be, yeah, and and, and and you know, and honestly, showing any weakness on that, you've already got the sense of showing any weakness uh, for for um, Gnosticans is ridiculous. And they're they're quite eloquent among their own species when they're in private, but in front of everybody, yeah, they are very much the brutalist work talk kind of guy, which you already had going. Um, okay, so Clapham, you 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 emerge from the the ship. Uh, the hatch seals behind you, and is apparently seamless. It was like kind of a one way exit. So I'm just going to put your back against the wall there. Uh, I sort of slid it out and land on my butt and try really hard to grip my teeth through that. <laughs> so I, I, I spend a couple seconds looking at looking for a seam, scrabbling for it, and then turn around and notice everybody. Yep. Uh, what I'm going to have is, is that the, the Romulans are kind of hanging back and lurking in the shadows at this point as well. Um, All right. So yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely Noskin. Definitely, I'll go. What? Uh, yeah. What do you want to do next, Elgo? You and your team. I expected Ferengi. What are you doing here? I do my ears itch for reason, Noskins. I am here because I'm hired. To take ship back to uh, back to first bank, is that right? Back to the first national bank. Why are you here? I'm here for the ship as well. What? To take. <laughs> I didn't think that was the case. Let me check my fucking notes. <laughs> I hear I'm here to search the ship. You can have it after I'm done searching it. Mm, seems Too many good. questions. You're like my ex. <laughs> <laughs> I asked one question. That's one too many. She should have stayed silent on Cardassia. How dare she ask me about the Bajoran woman? As long as I ship after you are done, we have... Uh, Cardassian 14 and, and 8 are kind of just looking at each other like, oh god, this is happening again. <laughs> and 3... Uh, yeah. Fine, go on in. I will wait out here. As I itch my ears. Agents 14 and 3 somewhere. proceed with the search. I will stay here and manage the situation. Okay, uh, 14 and 3 are going to, I, uh, there's only one e obvious outlet, uh, access point, and that's the cargo hatch, uh, and it, it, they're just kind of staring at it, because, because 14 almost got cut in half by it last time, 
So he's he's not super le- oh, he's yeah. a little leery of this. Uh, he's going to go up there and touch. Carnassian one is uh, noticing the discomfort on Clapham, and uh, makes an excuse to get closer to him and get get upwind of him. Proceed. Uh, so, do, do, do not proceed. Stop <laughs> proceeding. Stop him from proceeding. Um, let me see. What? Uh, I'm starting to break out in hives, starting from the ears all the way down the neck. Luckily, you got the shaggy hair. That that either is a is a mm-hmm. is a benefit or a curse. Um, At least yeah. you can't see it too well, but it is you're itching gonna, you're some. Gonna, you're ears. gonna basically like grit your teeth, or your, your fangs, or this. Uh, to Valk, Paul, how? Um, uh, what do you think? Uh, you're watching all this happen, just kind of hanging back like Romulans do. Right. So they're trying to get they're on board the ship. Board the ship. Uh, it looks like um, Elgo is still going through his divorce. You guys can decide whether or not you both know each other as professional courtesies. You could just you could just literally be aware or. You could have him at a disadvantage because if you are if you are tell she are, you've like read everyone's fucking dossier on the entire planet. Cool. But you are bombastic, apparently. Um, so who's bombastic? Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. He's so uh, and bombastic. Devac is uh, going to enter slowly, um, having his men, and. Um, He's going to, um, ah, Elgo, just as I surmised, I think. I, I'm not sure. Yes, no. Uh, and he, he yells that. I just can't yell in the, <laughs> currently. Uh, this is your ex. Up to your old tricks again, are you? No, this is not my ex. This is even worse. There are four <laughs> Romulans. Uh, yes, the Romulans are worse, aren't they? They can be royal pains in my butt. <laughs> and clap them shit. It's uncomfortable. Yeah. I'm going to motion for... Um, what are you looking Romulan. for, Tebek? Oh, what did you want? Uh, what did you want your Romulans to do, Tebek? Oh, I was going to motion them for to, for them to um, cover each one of the other Cardassians. Okay. They've uh, they got to work on that. Uh, Cardassian 1 is out of your sight at this point. So your guys are your oh, okay. actually so, probably going to try and go around behind. Uh, the AI the AI is going to have yeah, to try and run his own op on the side there. Cardi 1 and mm-hmm. Rom 1 are going to... Okay, you know, it's a one-on-one. So I, I need a picture. reminder. What, what? Uh, what is... is he, He's here for who in uh, particular? Who, is it? Uh, who are you saying? Elgo? Uh, Tevek. Tevek is here he, for a hat. He wants, he wants, he wants the, the hat helmet that, that you got. Because uh, they were all uh, at the, uh, uh, okay. the dude's site, and he dismissed them. But he's That's still right. going around on his rocket skate. <laughs> so, what are you here for, Tebec? We're here to, to recover an item that was that was taken from us. We will not stand for it uh, to be out of our p- possession any longer. So at least we aren't at cross purposes, unlike my ex. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you two get ship door open. Go find what you need. Leave ship, leave ship for me. I, I have no problem giving you the ship as long as I get that medically inclined musician okay i'm gonna um attempt to roll uh, i'm gonna attempt to roll some dice for cardi three and see how he does okay not not great on the old door opening skill uh you know he's he's he basically gets to the point where he's confronted with a lock and it's now asking him for money and the last <laughs> the, the the um the 2265 average stock exchange uh, increase over three, the first three quarters of that year. So apparently somebody has uh, put puzzle locks on their ship. 
for the combination. Oh. That's the help. That's the hint screen. Because it said, would you like a hint to the passcode? And it, <laughs> it, it said 2269 stock exchange numbers. <laughs> but should, which should be easy for any, obviously, any for How did you get? For any for Clap them. How did you get your men in there? Door was open. So you don't know how to get in? No. <laughs> Let me at this. Great. Okay. I can handle this. Uh, Tavak, you can push the. Tavak. You're just gonna push the Cardassians yeah. aside. Okay. <laughs> yeah. They're clearly. Not. I have no idea what you're gonna roll dice with, but okay. What do you What do you want to do? I don't know. I hear either. the sound, and it's like I don't. I'm doing oh. something. Yeah, yeah. I'm, no, I'm warming them up. I'm warming. Just warming them up. Um. So. Uh, <laughs> You said he's Tal Shiar, uh, right? You can decide. I'm you can decide so whether I, I, or not. I have. I have well, you, safe can, you can decide whether you're right? Tal Shiar or not, or just lie about it. But yeah, you can. You can just say, "Well, I have safe well, cracking." Yeah, I have safe cracking. So, I want at this. Uh, this okay, locking uh, it's going to be a fourteen, and your uh, critical range is a four. So fourteen or lower. You rolled a twenty, didn't you? No, 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 no. This is for the other team, so. Yeah, so it worked fine. <laughs> I rolled a 10 and a okay. 1. 1 is a critical. Ooh. No, wait, wait, wait. No, no, sorry. The 1 is off of a 10-sided dice. <laughs> 10 and a 5. Uh, 10 and a 5? Um, yeah, that's two successes. C. All right. Um, uh, yep. So I'm like, C. Rhymelands have always been superior race. I think. Or maybe, I don't know. <laughs> maybe my nervousness is now indecisive. Yeah, I think your nervousness. <laughs> well, you could be tentative about the lock. Yeah, I'm, I'm nervously indecisive. Yeah, and bombastic, well, so. which is even funnier. You're decisively <laughs> nervous. I'm loud about it. Um, someone suggested it was catastrophizing, which I don't know. And what I, I'm sorry, I've got somebody you yelled at me about something. Um, yeah, we hopefully I've, I've, hey, I talked one of my children into watching the stream, so everybody be on your worst behavior. Uh, <laughs> let me see. We got, um, uh, yeah, so you do manage to pop the lock, and that unveiled a second layer of security. Uh, and this one is this one is what? Yeah, it's a second, second layer of security. Um, and it, it and it now asks you for, um, well, it, it really it gives you just a weird math problem. For uh, it, it essentially has to do with compound interest. Um, based on a trinary star's use of a year. <laughs> it's, it's child's play, really. Okay, well, I, I don't think I can... Uh, I well, don't you, think I have you, the, uh, you, the you, accounting you, skills yeah. to deal with such... Oh, no, fa yeah, because you, you actually are an accounting major, aren't you? But yeah, so you got accounting. You can take a swing at it. I mean, it's it's going to require three. It'll require okay, three we'll take successes a swing at it. Uh, on your on your on but, your. But uh, uh, I don't know if I want to try this. It might it might it might make the door lock. It's already locked. Further. Yeah. What what could happen? Right. Yeah, but but what if I get well, it wrong? If you get it really wrong. We you're in no, no worse shape. Okay. Well, I, I guess I'll give it a try. Just be careful not to electrocute yourself. Or do it would be okay. funny. Uh, at that point, your critical so, uh, range is now 18, 19, or 20. Well, it doesn't matter. I rolled okay, two nineteen. Those are, those are two critical <laughs> numbers. Um, you do actually electrocute yourself. Well, actually, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. One was a nine. I, this one is not a plus sign. Okay, what's One's the a nine. One? A 19 okay, well, and, a, and a nine. But that's good. I guess you you kind of... Uh... Oh, no, no. They're, no, sorry. The, none of them have the plus signs. I rolled God two nines. All right. My bad. Sorry, right. my lighting is bad right now. 
<laughs> He's just nervous. <laughs> I said, wait, did I, say, did I not? No, no. Um, you only you only succeeded with two. You needed three. Um, so it didn't it didn't pull up. Um, you you know so it's you you got almost through the problem, but it but it said nope. Um, and it's and it, it's gonna let you try again. Um, but this time it now nice. is is a uh, a trinary uh, uh, just simply a binary star. But there's also a black hole and a pulsar nearby that causes space-time dilation in the in the lesser of the two stars. And I'm just having a ball with this. You, you so it's still three. Out. It still requires. Buzzword. It still requires three successes. You. you can. Um, oh shit! You're you're a bad guy. You can only spend threat, and we don't have any. Not. Why don't you just have advantage? I redeemed as threat. Well, oh, do you I want to do that? Say. Nasikin. Yeah. Well, that's for Clapham, though. That's okay. It just goes to the threat oh, okay. pool. Okay. I'll. Uh, you, there is one threat now in the pool. I think. I think Deficient okay. would be okay with Fishman. it. Okay. Oh, so I can use a. You may now threat drain my roll threat another to use for your own <laughs> benefit. We give away. it, and we take it away. I'm feeling very uptight. Why don't we just blast the damn thing? And you can fix it later, Nasikin. Uh, Look, if we blast it, we might we might damage the circuits so severely that it won't open at all. You blast it, I blast you. And, what sort of and I really need to get this item back. Because if I don't, well... No. <laughs> my boss is going to have all right, my and, and, All right, well, so I'm yeah, rolling uh, one no, die. You have an extra die, so you get three dice. So the threat the threat allows okay. you to buy a die. While you're while you're futzing with that, before ah, we resolve gotcha. that, we've cut back to Cash Dash, who is sitting in a cramped corridor and is, <laughs> he's, he's uh, diehard it. He's got his he's got he's pushing his rifle ahead of him. Um he you you um and you hear a slight pinging pingly ping sound coming from your either your um I forget whether you have you have a tricorder, but you have you have something that talks to the ship, so I forget if it's a wristwatch or what. Mm -hmm. um, so you, sure, you yeah. see that someone's trying to mess with the door. Do I uh, do I have any sort of uh, anti uh, theft device uh, uh, installed on the, well, on some the cargo of bay some door? Someone's already kicked in, and it said um, "red herring puzzle" or um. You know, a foolish, foolish human, mm -hmm. foolish human puzzle trap <laughs> initiated. Well, they really think I'd give them a hint. So, uh, yeah, so there's like four or five layers of this that you programmed in. <laughs> um, I'm not too, I'm not too fussed. Then okay. I'm, I'm going to keep uh, okay, elbowing what like forward. To have is a roll against your your fitness and medicine. We're, we're going to do that the breath Woo thing now. All right. Because I, 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 I chuckled. Yeah, you looked at your watch. Ha, ha. Uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> a six Damn. and a two. All right. No problem. Ooh. Nice. Uh, you only needed one success for this because it wasn't too bad. The next one will be at two successes. The next will be at three. Um, I'm really proud of my – I'm really proud of me just making that rule up. Um, but what you did do yeah, is great. you get a spare momentum for that, um, which can Excellent. go to the group, or you can try and use it for I don't know what right now, <laughs> relative to. Let's we'll okay. just we'll we'll make it. I'm, yeah, I'm just I'm just crawling through. Uh, Ferengi, the, the, yeah, so Ferengi in the yeah, Ferengi in the sheets. Um, uh, co-op in co-op in the streets, Ferengi in the sheets. Uh, so, <laughs> Cash Dash, you, are, you you do make it all the way through because you kind of know you, these are your tunnels. Not sure because these will not obey any deck plan or dimension correctly. This is just oh. magic of the ship. So, um, you do pop the hatch out into the, um, uh, into the, the control deck. Uh, surprisingly, it all does right. not have the fire suppression gas in it. That's cool. Oh, excellent. Uh, it recognizes, actually, the minute you pop the grill open, it uh, it, it does recognize mm -hmm. you, D Judy Dench. 
uh, Judy Dench's voice comes back and says, you know, <laughs> uh, access, access, access granted. granted, Captain. And it begins blowing the area clean. Grell is lying on the floor uh, with, I think, a, what looks to be a, a bit of a... He's, he's a little scuffed, but appears to be alive. Uh, I'm going to step right over him and try to take this puppy right off. You mean just la launch the ship? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to go, baby, go. Funny. Um, <laughs> yeah, this will work. All right. It wasn't wasn't my plan, eh? But your players. When what is, is it? <laughs> whenever it is at the plan, eh? Uh, what I want to do is add. Um, uh, go ahead and use a a con and control, or yeah, con and control. And that'll at least get you, you know, right. get you systems checks and get all that up and running. Now the security protocols are all kind of kerfuffled. I don't have any threat to spend to say how badly they damaged the ship, which kind of sucks. Um, well, there's, a, there's definitely there's a, malware a lot of malware. There's, there's a lot of ads that are popping up yeah. as you as you try and get through the <laughs> screens. Close, close, damn it, close. And uh, what I'm going to do is also. Uh, Lyra, what were you doing? Uh, she was just kidding. She had prepared Hypo. her um, her hypos, and uh, she was about ready to, to exit the... Um, sure. To see if anybody else needed help. Do our communications uh, up or down, down right because now? Because Goreth is the only one who's trying to fix yeah. anything actively. Uh, as far right. as I know, no one else has made any attempt to repair or modify that anything. That is correct. It's just been... Okay. Well, she, she knows where he is. is. Yeah. So she's she's going she's gonna, to um, make her way down okay. to where he uh, is. Gorath, while you're there, while uh, you're, you're in the engineering, uh, as I recall, you just critically failed and flooded the rest of the decks with gas. Um, you're not choking out yet. But um, as you're trying to bring the gas down, and also you had a door lock thing you were trying to get to, and comms are down, and now uh, it looks like someone's starting a pre-flight sequence and starting to warm up the engines. And you... Judy Dash is telling everyone yeah, to take their seats. Yeah, the automated voice that says, sit down. And then what I'm going to do is say, um, uh, for the ship's preparedness, because I don't know, were you doing any maintenance checks or anything in port, uh, Gorath? Not at this time. Because he was too busy trying to, did, to work on. Did we hit? Did we hit a factory? The did we hit a factory? Communication working again. In the ship, wasn't that part of one of the protocols we did? Didn't didn't we do What's a that? factory reset? Um, no, but remember he uh, he made he it so the that the off. the security system was not <laughs> yeah yeah uh, didn't he affect could, him. He could get, he didn't he have to get, yeah, Latin he can get for free stuff now. He gets yeah. stuff for free, right? That's okay, the last thing I, I remember. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, um, okay, Gorath, evens or odds, and we'll see if you decided to put the ship in a maintenance cycle before you uh, left, because you still were trying to figure out how this thing was wired up. So evens or odds, what would you like to do? I'm just going to okay. roll right in front of you. All right. No, it's even. I'm rolling for oh, you. You're rolling it's me. Okay. Um, I'll take. Okay. I'll take. We're going to go off the first die. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. Nah. Um, you, <laughs> ship, I'm, I'm going to go drag, with it. when it doesn't match. When it doesn't match, it's everyone's. Wow. Deficit. So um, yeah. What's what's going to happen is um, uh, well, uh, you put the ship into a, a bit of a maintenance cycle. So basically, he's trying to draw. He's trying to warm the antimatter tanks up, and all the valves are closed um, because you were you were cleaning the cleaning out the dilithium prefilter chamber. Right. So it doesn't uh, so matter. Basically, right? it's going to cause <laughs> cause some issues. Oh God. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> that's that's. I I get threat for uh, that. Right? It, um. <laughs> Is there a is it is there there's a kill switch right 
<laughs> the whole, I mean, this is engineering. Well, literally everything you've done has right? been a kill switch. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I gotta, yeah, yeah, just roll, roll a 20, I'm good, right? man. Um, what, what do you need to stop? The Stop the engine from pre-flighting or what? Okay, well, actually, what I what I want to know is, um, can I detect whether or not the startup sequence is is being done um, through um, a proper access, i.e., someone's put it, or can I tell if someone's like, you know, I'm uh, hacked be, into the I'm system? I'm going to be a douche. Uh, no, no, I'm gonna yeah, okay. you can you can roll. Let me see. Yeah, it, it should be something you should be able to roll because that's that's something that's very Star Trek y, you know. Um, and you want to know this, yes, it's okay. We'll wait. What? Um, sorry, go ahead. Um, no, nope, go ahead. What we did, uh, yeah, so you can go ahead. It's gonna be security, and um, I'm gonna go with in uh, yeah, you've got insight up the yin yang, don't you? Okay, well, we're going to yes, go with security and insight. And you'll need okay. you'll need two successes to determine that that's that uh, what the what the nature of the command command is. I'm assuming okay. uh, insight 12 cash dash. I'm assuming that you're trying to just do standard pre flight. You're not doing, yeah. any, you know, hot wire or cross circuit or anything. No, I would have just I would have just plugged in my uh... And my access code the and big red go button press, okay press the big red go let's <laughs> get out of dodge button it's, it is the big <laughs> yeet no yeeting is for the cargo deck there's a yeet button <laughs> on the cargo deck yeah. <laughs> no, uh, no, no 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 or it just slaps <laughs> it down and just make sure really fast it's the fastest <laughs> dropping cargo deck in the world it's very slow to close but boy it opens like <laughs> so I'm needing to roll under um uh, you said daring daring insight and, and insight security. and security. Okay, those that's, okay, that's 15. Good. You just need two. You you do have you yeah, do have to dispose of, is, Well, remember your your critical range your critical failure range is at 18 and up. So get those D&D right. dice the hell out of there. Okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah. have a okay three and, and one all the way off the screen yeah one you're one, shitting me oh one, one off okay two. oh um two threes yes two threes right. not, no pluses too bad i'm not playing yeah. moral, um, moral project and let me see you <laughs> are uh uh do you have any focus that would let you uh, yeah, because I kind of peek at your character sheet. You really... I, I do have a um, one of my foci. Um, no, I have. Um... You have replicators, comms. Uh, you have two comm focuses, which is weird. So you want to change that one. Yeah, I don't know how that uh, happens. Let's change that to cryptography, shall we? Or, or we could just take take it to like security. Uh, we do that, that would be that would be okay too. Well, basically, it's what what field of security would it be? A focus is like the specialty within security. That that's why I was. Gonna, oh, okay. Um, yeah, that's why I was going to make right. it like cryptography gotcha. and codes or something like that because that's that's music. That sounds related. good. I'll, I'll take it. Um, plus cryptography, yeah. you can talk me into doing math stuff. Um, you know, you can you can you can work that. Um, you can work that angle. So go ahead and update your character sheet to that. Oh yeah. And I will then do remind that. me because I just have an old copy. Um, so yeah, cryptography that that translates those two successes into actually two critical successes, I think. Because your it was your security. very nice. Yeah. My security yes. is so that's three. Exactly what you need to. Um, three or below, and there were criticals. So you have four successes altogether. Oh. Um, you only needed a two to determine that the command was authorized. It, it was a legitimate command coming from uh, somebody. It wasn't the pirates, unless they forced somebody to do something. Now, you have two additional momentum okay. that you can either bank 
or spend to either create an advantage or answer another question related to like the engine startup sequence. Gotcha. So this these two momentum are beyond the well, four that we yeah, have, right? Until you put them in the pool. Right now they're right now they're they're momentum that you get to yeah they're they're in ones limbo. that you get to control right now, um, to spend immediately. Let's use them. Okay, what do you want to Let's use? Let's use them. Yeah, I'll use them. Um, well, I'm going to use them to. Um, I'm going to use one to help me determine if this was indeed a authorized startup. Oh, no, well, actually, that that was your that was your success roll. Your success roll already got. Yeah, you already. Oh, that's what that. I did already. You have okay, two. Well, you have I two have above determined that it is. Because you you critically Aha, succeeded, gotcha. so that not only do you know it's a legit sequence, but you can, and now you can do something else related to the startup sequence uh, itself. Yes. So what I want to do is I, is I want to um, take it out of my um, um, the what was it the the um, ah, my brain is melting. Um, Take it out of the, the um, diagnostic mode. Yeah, take it out of repair, repair mode. mode. Yeah, diagnostic. Okay. Yeah, so that uh, this this startup startup sequence will okay will work. Doesn't blow us up. Okay, no and because you don't have to roll for that. That's just because you got success. You were you you were already. Oh yeah. So, okay. Your your, your cool. success just Very said nice. okay, and I get to do an additional thing because I, yeah, because I was. And that, I get to do this. Oh, that's okay, kind of the way that okay. the. the momentum works is especially if you roll really well yeah okay. you get to do extra stuff so um that's oh. and again it's a very uh this is a very player forgiving uh system it's it's very much meant for you guys to actually I be like competent it. because god knows the dice are not helping you right now um and then <laughs> what i want to do is catch back to uh hans and france uh D dvarik and that's Noy right what you guys doing? No, wait, let's tie these Narsikans up while they're knocked out so they can't do any more harm to us. So, no, wait, and, well, I want to hear what are going to see back. if they can. Or what no, it has to say back. Hey, what you need to do is switch <laughs> oh. sides. Can you face All right, right let's... please? Yeah. All right, let's, let's tie them up. Let's see if they have some belts or something that we can use to lash them. Yeah, because I'm, I'm not familiar yet with the ship and where all the different uh, devices would be for imprisoning these guys. I don't know where the brig is yet. I haven't been thrown in it. Yeah, I know. You're in the brig a lot, man. Well, anyway, let's see if we can tie him up. Okay. Um, you do find... Uh, you, you do find... Um, uh, you find Grell's quarters. Inside of Grell's quarters, there's some... Um, there's some fuzzy handcuffs and a few. These yeah. will never work. <laughs> <laughs> These look like they're used for tribbling. They're all fuzzy. Yeah. It's lined with tribble fur. <laughs> um, oh, God, that's not good. I uh, My mind went in the wrong place. No, no place. Um, yeah. <laughs> it went to a pop-up <laughs> yes, bed. it went to a pop-up bed. Um, oh, God. But the uh, you do manage to secure the two Nausicans in uh, Grell's quarters if you want to do that. Uh, that can be a makeshift okay. break. I don't believe the ship has yeah. a break. No, let's tie them over here. Uh, this over looks here good. Is, is where would that be? Like just just down here by the bunk. Yeah. That... Are these like Art Deco bunks like Star Trek has, or are these more like uh, utilitarian bunks that, that are just bolted to the floor in case the uh, gra artificial gravity well, Cash, out? What kind of what kind of bunks, what kind of combinations do you provide your crew? What kind of combinations would Grell have? Uh, it, oh, it's, it's the bottom of the barrel. Uh, yeah, it's, it's very uh, utilitarian, very... Uh, uh, I mean, it depends. Did he uh, did he shell well, out for a mattress? Or... Well, actually, since Grell is kind of your weird surrogate, he's he's your secondary character, but you just didn't realize it until I I ran him. <laughs> I am gonna. I want to have you both do it, but you'll be in too many scenes together. 
Um, but Grell is, uh, yeah, what kind of thing would you think? Well, I think Grell would, would splurge. And but he would uh, he would yeah. get it on the cheap, so it looks really good, but it's kind of that shitty hard mattress, but it impresses. Yeah. Me. Or as soon as you as soon as you lay on it, it's it's so soft, it's like you're just laying yeah, on the metal again. Way back to the metal. Um, but yeah, it's and it's gorgeous. Either way, as is every Ferengi thing. It is gold lame. <laughs> yeah, gold there's lame. gold. gold <laughs> it's, it's like Trump. Uh, a yeah, little chandelier. chandelier. It's Trump Tower meets. Um, Graceland. Yeah, it's got yes, it's yes, got yes. velvet on the walls. Um, but it's but it's the stuff that looks good. But if you touch anything, it is immediately super cheap. Yeah, it's gritty. Yeah. <laughs> it's the wish. It's the wish panels mm -hmm. that you buy. So the Nausicans, mm -hmm. uh, you can yeah. find some like curtain ties essentially. Uh, that you know, because he has the four poster bed. I don't know. These don't look very strong. I know I could break out of these with both damaged oh, that's shoulders. True. Um, yeah, that's all we got, unfortunately. You could, uh, if you want to spend some momentum, you could decide that the Nausicans had handcuffs on them. Okay, okay, <laughs> or wire. Couldn't you use you're wire. Gonna rip, oh, you're gonna rip ODA yeah, out of the wall. <laughs> No, the ship is in bad enough shape now, Noit. Don't pull that wire. He's, he's, we don't know. That might set out more got of this the gas. Whole panel almost <laughs> off, and probably looks <laughs> just a fist full that, of. Put that back. All right. Let's see. Maybe these Nausicans have some some handcuffs. So I'll, I'll toss oh, the, yeah, momentum the momentum that way. Um. Yeah, I do like. Or zip ties. They might they even might. just have zip ties. You know, they're not. Yeah, they're cheap. They're, they're they're just in case there's an insurrection, they can like arrest people. Yeah, they can zip, zip tie people. people. So you do manage to uh, secure them. Can you make a uh, again? It's a security and reason roll for uh, both of you guys. Just you just need you just need right. any for both yeah, Noise and Dreva. Well, if if each of you is doing a single Nausicaan. All this right. will be your chance to also earn the momentum back, by the way. So I have barely two successes for Draybok because he has a reason seven and a security five, and I rolled okay. two 11s. And then Noit. Noit has a high reason. He's got an 11 reason and a four security. So, so Noit's the brains of the alphabet. He gets a three. Well, Noit is yeah. the Orion, so yeah, he just pretends he's the lackey. So he rolls an 11 and a 3. So I don't know if the 3 well, is a critical. If he has anything for like I don't you know, think so. bondage or something, he would he could he could use that. Um, <laughs> he has bureaucracy. <laughs> only if you're stringing yeah, him up with thing. only if you're that's bondage, tying right? him up with red tape. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> can I can I paint the zip ties red? Oh, uh, no. Um, but, uh, what happens is you, you did get two successes each. You only needed one. Uh, so that gives you, uh, two that you can rebank or you can do some extra tricksy thing with a Nausicaan at this point. I'll bank them because I don't, I, these guys are unconscious, so I'm not going to wake them up okay. to question them. So, um, what'll happen is, uh, as you guys tie them up. Uh, I'm going to say that, Lyra, you make it down to uh, Gorath so that you're talking to yourself again. Uh, I also want to keep you there. Gorath, you just finished slamming the, the components back together. Dash, you are... Um, oops, why did I click on you? Uh, Dash, you have uh, got green lights across the panel indicating that all the initiators are working. The ship is actually ready to go. Uh, you may have a better engineer than you thought you had. All right, it's time to blow this okay, popsicle and, stand. Uh, do you want to make this a, a dirty lift off or a clean lift? Just a clean lift off. Because Star Trek has Ooh, anti grav, I'm, so I'm it really feeling... doesn't have dust off. But you can do that if you want. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a little. <laughs> I'm feeling a little dirty. I, I can't lie. I'm feel I'm feeling a little. Uh... After all these pop ups, we're all feeling very good. Put those Romulans <laughs> and and Cardassians on their butt. Okay, tomorrow. Yep. 
I've closed most of the pop-ups, but I've saved a couple for later. Uh, <laughs> Tavak, uh, Tavak. Well, these ones look good. Uh, you're through your third screen now, or your fourth screen of of just one more, just just one more uh, puzzle lock to undo. Uh, Elgo, how do you feel about the fact that they've gone through five puzzle locks? Are you also it's well, taking are you, are you too long? Go help them. Sorry. I, I'm. I will go help, but get out of the way. Just let me do okay. it myself. Okay, uh, and you start jamming at them. Clapham, uh, what do you want to do as you see these two just wasting their time? Um, do I still have uh, a yes, weapon you with do. me? Or was uh, I disarmed? No okay. Uh, no, nobody, uh, I can't I, remember. I said Elgo didn't give an order to disarm you, but he probably didn't know you were armed. So, uh, uh, but I, I mean, I mean, before I, before no, I you got were, out you're of still the armed, uh, you, you were not disarmed right. because you, you planted one in growl and then, and then, I was and too then distracted. It out. Uh, I, Cardi, you, I received a text about my divorce proceedings. <laughs> I was too Hold on, I have to see this. They didn't disarmed. sign the release papers. Um, <laughs> the, um, <laughs> Uh, Clapham, you feel on your through your hemorrhoids the thrum of a warp core initiation. Like this ship might be ready to go somewhere. Shit. And uh, it's up to you what you uh, want to do with that information. I mean, you know, the Clapham special is just try to shoot that lock. Oh, you're going to try. Uh, now you're going to go up to the. <laughs> it's. It's, I mean, it kind of okay, worked yeah. for him before. Uh, so basically, you now have all shoved each other out of the way and you're fighting over the door lock, <laughs> as I recall. No, you right. would have taken so, too long. So uh, that pretty much literally is everyone's famous last words, right? You're taking too long. I've almost got this. <laughs> Here, let me do it, right? Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Dave, it's our last thing of the session. What, what kind of a liftoff do we expect? And what happens to the people scattered about the hangar? Uh, I, yeah, I want to, I mean, oh, by the way, you see a man, you zero see a to, you, you're looking down. There's a little camera looking down at all of them. I'm just, uh, chuckling to myself and I say, well, let's see how this treats him. Uh, and I want to go, I mean, as, as close to zero to a hundred as I can possibly, I mean, maximum acceleration mm -hmm. to whatever, I mean, within an inch of. Uh, what I think would be, um, whatever, 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 uh, warp, thingy. warp, yeah, whatever warp we got to last time. We'll, we'll, that... we'll do it in, in the, in the atmosphere. It's a little, it, you, you, there's no, no faster than light inside the atmosphere, but you can, you can sure, okay. pretty well. Uh, you can, you can decide, I, yeah, I think I've... I need to go Mach 10 right now and, and just, uh, yeah, um, Dark Twitch. I just there's something I'd sure. like to ask you before you you take us off. Um, <laughs> yes, I'm wondering if uh, I can uh, Tavek can reach in his pocket and and uh, pull out a quick transponder <laughs> to attach what, to the ship. What are you trying to win this game? <laughs> um, uh, what we'll do is uh, I, and I I want to use my I want to use my obsidian order observational <laughs> skills to see him do that and throw a Cardassian <laughs> one on as well. <laughs> that clap of is just so. If confused. we roll the same number, we they each they, they, they each just other. stack <laughs> on top of the other. Four. Um, okay, you you all right? Uh, first, let's let's see whether or not you guys can, you know, while you're so focused on uh, you because you guys are focused on the panel so right, right, right. let's let's go with everybody needs um because you guys are reasonable characters you're probably coming back if you survive this uh you're coming uh, er, uh 13 or less to kind of break the spell uh on two dice to kind of be right. aware that this shit what's that sound Sweet. A okay. six and a seven. Uh, and then clap them if you want to do it too. You can put, you can hawk a loogie onto it, which is the, the Nausicaan tracking device. That you just <laughs> pee on it. Um, <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, but I got an okay, eight. So and all you needed was one success. So that's only um, one. And then, and then right. at that point, huh? Tavak had. Um, oh, is is Tavak oh, rolling as well, or? Oh yeah, go ahead and roll. Oh no, Cameron rolled less than a less than a thirteen. Um, he rolled an eight. Okay, and an eleven. Both are, both are good. I should actually have you guys generating threat for me, because that's what theoretically you're mm-hmm. doing. Um, so all of you realize the ship's going somewhere, and all of you at once have the same idea to slap a security <laughs> tracker on it. Tracker and, dive, and out of the dive. The, the guards, however, none of the guards catch on to this concept. Less so. Um, so what we're going to do is um, all of you, like, it's going to be two successes, and it's it's going to be, say, oh, let me let me be a jerk and set this randomly. I'll take the higher of these two dice. 14. So you just need a 14 or high, or lower uh, to, to all just kind of escape the escape ill effects. Okay. Eight and a 10. Make it. Tobacco has uh, a seven. One more die. And a. Okay. 10. At a 10 and a or 1. Do extra do good. Um, that was critical. I don't know what critically not getting in the way it get burnt to death is. But I think, I think Clef threat, right? lands in, in a tuck roll and is off the deck before okay. anybody else notices. Which is surprising. He's like 7 feet tall. So he is he is an amazingly yeah. spry. He fitting through those tunnels. But he should generate threat for the... Uh, well, it generates them, threat right? for me. Um, uh, yeah. I'm going to take three threat from all of you guys' as shenanigans. Because all of you mm-hmm. rolled way better than you needed to. Um, uh-huh. well that, Recurring yeah, villains yeah, always named do. Villains. None of them have been injured. You guys rock it out of there. Um, you can put a departure angle on viewer if you really feel like it, Captain. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch that suck on repeat. Um, you do notice that Elgo and Tavak appear to not be caught utterly in the blast. They seem to be knocked back and and in relatively intact. Clapham, you can't find. All right. Well, I, I guess we don't and, have to uh, worry about the Nazis anymore. Romulan and Cardassians guards that just um, they they didn't seem to show up anywhere either. Yeah. You all this. Um, and as you, as you, as you, uh, I, mean, I give, I give Grell a little <laughs> kick. Yeah. Not a, not a hard kick, but just a little like. We're gonna, we're gonna have <laughs> yeah, words. It's soon. gonna be good. Flick his ear. Gonna kick his lobe. Um, hey, folks! I want to say Ooh. thank you so much for um, enjoying your time with us um, on Architects of Fate. I really want to thank all of you guys for. Uh, all players and everything. Hey, Libby, how you doing? Um, I wanna, I wanna thank all of you for, um, you know, rolling with our, rolling with some of our tech problems. Uh, the fact that I've once again managed to close all the windows of use to me. Uh, so it makes it ah, come on. So it makes it really hard to read the goodbye script, which kind of sucks, because Architects of Fate. <laughs> Uh, is not just the show, even though we could sustain it completely on our own. Um, easily, easily, easy peasy, we could we could do this. But on, um, let me see. Come on, come on, give me my, give me my thing. You guys can see most of it right here. Um, but you know, yeah. Conan, yeah, Age of Adventures. Uh, please check the Discord because they did not get their um, blurb into us in time. Uh, which kind of kind of is not so good. On Wednesday, uh, we've got Fifth Edition Dungeons and Dragons: Call of the Nether Deep, The Betrayer's Rise. Uh, once again, watch a bunch of players just abuse a DM like nobody's beat him like a rented a mule. I believe is the phrase. Um, in the Bandito's attempt to refocus the ire of the Betrayer Gods in the direction of uh, Emilio's Emerald Pact. They and Asola discover their goals are aligned and discover the Bandito's shenanigans. Now the Bandidos must make their way to the Betrayer's Rise and possibly the plot of the story for the first time in a long time. Uh, and they will discover what lies inside. It's probably going to be a plot point. 
Um, Thursday, uh, we are not going to be on uh, this Thursday. Um, thanks, GM the Great Bear. And speaking of which, uh, GM the Great Bear joined us in chat. He joins us often on Mondays and or on Fridays. And on this coming Friday on Cookie Trek, uh, he will be joining Simon and Rufus as a guest, special guest producer. And he will help write a new Star Trek story that must involve the crew of the USS Fan Service aging backwards, encountering an unreasonable alien justice system, as well as neuroleptic shock. So please come help us all welcome a new friend and also write a new Star Trek uh, story this Friday. On Sunday, uh, the 24th, man, the month is just blown by. Um, we've got the Tomb of Annihilation, and if only somebody on camera had an idea uh, about what we might be doing that day. What might we be, we be doing that forward. day? Uh, we will be remembering Steve. Steve. As we mourn the loss of a bright star that burned too quickly, the party is splitting once again. Uh, there's carved gem eyes, there's uh, skeleton friends, and there's a shadowy figure going down a mysterious hallway. When has that ever gone wrong? Join us on Sunday to oh, find yeah. out. Yes. And then um, Monday, uh, we uh, brings us back to Doe. Uh, our our other broadcast is Star Trek Bajor Rising, and it is called Unanswered Questions. Um, and I'm gonna I'm looking for a raid right now just to to get us uh, somewhere to go. Oh, Star Trek Resurgence. Yeah, that's actually kind of fun. There's only one person there. Um, but yeah, what I want to do is say everybody thanks again. Um, the GM GM the Great Barry will be unleashed, and. Uh, yeah, I really hope that everybody has, you're warm and safe wherever you are. And we're going to go be raiding uh, Heart Mantis, who's playing Star Trek Resurgence, or at least seems to be stuck on a loading screen. Um, go out there. Cool. Uh, we're going to quintuple his uh, his viewership. So <laughs> go, go. Be nice. Yeah, be Send nice. Love. Say hi. Uh, it's his fellow Star Trek person, so that's probably worth it. Hey, everybody, please take care. I'm going to send you the raid now. There we go. All right. Do I want to?